I greet you all. I say the moment I say Okoye Timothy Mark. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okoye Timothy Mark. Today I want to show you the secrets of multiplying numbers by 25. Secrets of multiplying numbers by 25. Whenever you multiply any number by 25, simply multiply that number by 100 and divide by 4. Because 25 is 100 divided by 4. Because 25 is 100 divided by 4. Once and a half, 76 times 25. Why are you looking for a calculator? 76 multiplied by 100. Of course, when you multiply a whole number by 100, simply write, write that number, add two zeros in front of it. So this is like 76, 0, 0, all over 4. And this is now 1,900. You have 0, 10.685 times by 25, no problem. When you multiply a number with decimal parts by 100, it is as good as removing two decimal parts from it. So this goes down 1068.5, then divided by 4. So when you remember, this will give you 267.125. Let me consider the answer. So, even if you have 0 0.0483, it's done by 25. When we multiply this by 100, you remove two decimal parts from this. So, this goes down 4.83 all divided by 4. So, this is now 1.2075. So, that is the answer of multiplying this by 25. So even if you have something like 0 0.0000079 for 25, no problem. Since you multiply by 100, first of all, you know, remember I said multiply by 100 and divide by 4. Since 25 is 100 over 4. So remove, and this is decimal pass. Remove two decimal places because you multiply by 100. If you multiply by 10, you remove one decimal place. So when you look to decimal places, you have here, the two zeros disappear. So you have 0 0.0079. This is also multiplied by 100. So the next time, divide by 4. That is going to 0 0.00... Uh, 1975. That is the secret of multiplication by 25. So, if you now the case, if I now multiply by 2.5, 2.5, I know that it is one tenth of 25. Why is it one tenth? You get 2.5 by dividing 25 by 10. So if that be the case, whenever you pair a number by 2.5, the answer you get by multiplying by 25 is divided by 10. So I have something like 76 times 2.5 now. I know that this is, this is as, as good as saying 1,900 all over 10. And that is what? 190. If it's by something like ten point six eight five, having known that that uh, ten point six eight five times twenty five is two hundred and sixty seven point one two five, it follows divided by ten. That is now twenty six point seven one two five. Or you can say, for instance, this one alternatively, you can do it seventy six times two point five as as 76 times 5 over 2. I know at, when I told you this secret of multiplying number by 5, I said have the digit of that number, have the number, have the number. And you see the decimal place one step forward. So that means 76 times 5 will give you half of the, the 76 is uh, 380, 338. See the decimal place one step forward will give 380, then over 2. That gives you 190. Or you can still do this again. 76 times 2.5 will now be the same as multiply this by 10 and divide by 4. No longer by 100 because 10 divided by 4 gives you 2.5. So 76 times 10 is 760. Then divide by 4. Of course, 
you know, 200 is this now, 3, 8 over 2, and 2 again, 190. Now, this is now for sub multiple. Or, we can also put it this way, bring this knowledge back. Let me put this way, I have seen the secret of a prime number by 25. Now, then I say, secret of a prime number by sub multiples of 25. Sub multiple of 25. Whenever I multiply a number by sub multiple of 25 the number one secret is to multiply that number by 100 multiply by a number by 100 then 100 and divide by 4 but you know then attach 0 to the 4 in front of the 4 the number of zeros attached to the number of to the in front of 4 determine it depends depends not determines depends on the number of digits in the decimal part of the sub multiple of 25 for instance, in the examples I gave now, I can say this 76 times 2.5 now. 76 times 2.5. Normally, I told you to divide by 25. To multiply by 25 is multiply by 100 and divide by 4. So this now, when I multiply this by 100, I have 7600. I'll write 4. How many decimal places are in front of uh, in this 2.5? To one decimal place. So I'll add 0 here. It becomes 40. So of course, 0 takes 0. So what is remaining is as good as 10, 7, 160, all over 4, 2 here, 380, 2, 1, and 190. And now you can see answer. So the answer becomes 190. If it is by 76 times 0 0.0025. So of course, the normal the result is 1 pi by 100 is 700, 7 times 600. All over 4. How many decimal places are here? How many decimal are how many decimal places? Decimal places? That is where 4 digits. So add 4 zeros to here. So 2 zeros here, collect 2 zeros here. Now, one may say, How can you use 400 to divide 76 easily? Please don't bother yourself. Just quickly use 4 to divide 76 to give you 19. To give you what? 19. How many zeros are done? 2 zeros. So this is like saying 19 over 100. And that is 0 0.19. And that is the answer. Hence, therefore, 76 times 0 0.0025 is 0 0.19. Why are you looking for calculator if you know the secrets? You don't need calculator. I'm here to make calculator irrelevant eh? and to make a question very fast and efficacious for you. Okay, look at this thing on 38, 6 times 0 0.0025. 0, 0.025. Normally multiply this by 100. That is 38607. Then you put 4 here. How many zeros are in this map? How many digits are in this map? Part? 3 digits. So this is 4000. This corrects 2 zeros. Okay? Which is no problem. So one may say now, how can you not divide this easily by 40? Please don't bother yourself. Just divide this one by 4. By four, so here is one nine, one nine three, and here is two. This to this is nine ninety six point five. Then how many zeros are here? One zero, so it's like ten over ten. That gives you nine point six five. Hence, therefore, three eight six and zero point zero two five is nine point six five. Now, whenever you multiply a number by multiples of 25, multiples of 25, in this case, I mean 250, 2500, 5, uh, 25,000, and so on and so forth. After multiplying by 100 and dividing by 4, whatever answer you get, see the decimal place, forward the number of zeros. They are attached to the 25 in the multiple of 20, 25. For instance, I have 70. Let me repeat it. When you divide, when you multiply a number by multiple of 25, here, what which means I'm talking about 250, 2500, and so and so forth. Just multiply by 25, which is the usual way. Whatever answer you get, see the decimal places forward, the number of times there are zero. In the multiple of 25. For instance, 76 times 250. 
I know that the usual thing I do when say 26 times 25 is to multiply by 100 and divide by 4. That gives you 1 9. Okay? 1900. Then, but now it's with 250, so I'll see the decimal place one step forward. Because this 1900 is like uh, 1900.07. So that gives you now 19,000. Let me repeat it another way. 76 times 250. We all know that 76 times 25 is 1. 1900. So why do, and this 1900 can also be written as 1900.7. So see the decimal place one step forward, and that gives you what 19,000. 88.639 times 25,000. Let's say something like that. No problem. Multiply with 25 first. This is what to multiply with 25. I've told you is to multiply by 100 and divide by 4. So this way we find this by 100 you have 8863.9 all the way by 4. 4 into 8, 8 is 22. Then 4 into 60 is 15. Then 3 comes here. Into that 9. Total 9 is uh, 0, 09. 975 okay then how many zeros are in this two, uh, two, uh, two, 25 uh, three zeros so you see the answer three this map is forward one two three and so the answer becomes two two one five zero nine seven point five that goes the answer if it is by two hundred fifty thousand for uh, just do it after multiply by 25 which is the usual way you put four, uh, you see the number place is four step forward depending on the number of zeros that are. That is the secret of multiplying numbers by 25 and its multiples and sub multiples. I still remember myself for great much more. Subscribe, like, and comment my YouTube channel for great much more. See you in my next video. With this test I'm going to you now, you can try this following and see how fast you can be. For instance, try the following 1.683 times 25. You can say 14.92 times by 2,500. Two you can try this again 0 0.9486 times. 0 0.00025 you can still get it that's thing you use kaka to do this is your to try this and i give to you you will see your answers and try other numbers you see your answer thank you and remember